Good morning, children. In continuation of revision of chapter number four, that is solids, liquids, and gases, we will be revising the topics, solutions, and changes around us. So, let us start about the term solution. What is solution? When two substances mix together such that they are evenly distributed, a solution is formed. In sugar solution, sugar is a solute, means the substance that dissolves. And water is a solvent, means the substance in which a solute dissolves. This is the example properly shown in the picture. Now we will learn our more types of solution. First type, solid dissolve in liquid. When sugar dissolved in water, sugar solution is formed. Second, liquid dissolved in liquid. When lemon juice dissolves in water, lemonade is formed. Third is gas dissolved in liquid. When carbon dioxide gas dissolved in liquid, then form carbonated drinks. And our the next type of solution is gas dissolved in gas. Here is the best example for this type of solution as it is a mixture of many gases. Next in the type of solution, we are having miscible and immiscible liquids. So students, we will learn about first miscible solution. What are miscible liquids? When two liquids mix together completely in each other, they are called miscible liquids. For example, ink mixed in water and milk mixed in water. Immiscible liquids. When two liquids mix together but do not dissolve completely, they are called immiscible liquids. As in the picture you can see very clearly, in two separate glasses, in first mustard oil layer and in second water mixed with the refined oil form separate layers within the container. Now we will learn about changes around us and in this topic we will learn about physical and chemical changes. Dear students, what are physical changes? Physical change is a type of change in which only physical state of the substance changes and no new product is formed. It is also called reversible change as examples are melting of butter, breaking of glass, melting of ice cream and tearing of paper are few examples of the physical changes. Now the next is chemical change. What is chemical change? A change in which a chemical composition of the substance changes and a new substance is formed. It is also called irreversible change as we cannot get the original state of matter again. For example, rusting of iron nails, making of curd from milk and cooking of food. These all about chemical change. Now students, we will learn our next topic that is expansion and contraction. Dear student, what is expansion? When a substance is heated, the particles start vibrating rapidly and take the more space. Due to increased movement of particles, the things expand. This is called expansion. And next is contraction. When a substance is cooled, the movement of particles slow down and takes up less space. This decrease in the size of matter is called contraction. So students, this was all about solution and changes around us. I hope you must have understood very well by now. Thank you.